As the world's population increases and resources become scarcer, the search for alternative sources of food and fuel becomes ever more important. And one resource that's drawing attention in Thailand may come as a surprise. Algae and its derivatives could well prove important in the future, as NHK World's Rosalind Debevalia reports. Thailand's already crowded capital, Bangkok, is welcoming a strange but valuable newcomer. It's spirulina, a blue-green algae being grown here by a Thai venture firm. Thailand's tropical climate helps it double in size every few days. After harvesting, the spirulina is washed and spun dry to form this slimy paste, an unlikely-looking foodstuff. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm, almost tasteless. Tastes almost grassy with a little pinch of salt. This is almost like mashed potatoes. While it may look unappetizing, spirulina actually brims with nutrition. It's high in protein, vitamins and minerals. And the UN says it'll become an important source of nutrition. There is definitely potential and a need to, to, further, uh, to do further studies and to further the research and to see how best we can use these, these other foods that we don't really use the full potential of. And experiments are underway to turn this grotesque-looking goo into something more appetizing, like marinades for pasta and popular Thai dishes. Another idea is to sweeten it by adding chocolate. The challenge will be to make the algae more palatable by mixing it with familiar foods. And our vision is 20 years from now to have spirulina be the spinach of the future, where you know it's consumed in millions of tons per year and it's helping combat uh, hunger and malnutrition and just general health, uh, you know, as well as. Meanwhile. Another use for algae is taking off. A Thai government research institute in cooperation with the country's biggest oil conglomerate is working to turn oil-rich algae into biofuel. After harvesting and drying, the oil is extracted from the algae, mixed with chemicals and refined. Three kilograms of dried algae can produce as much as a liter of biofuel. And in this picture, you can see approximately uh, algae can accumulate uh, the oil by the alley of the yellows. This is the native stain. That that really important strategy of our research that we try to uh, invent or explore the native stain. For more than a thousand Thai strains, collected over 20 years, researchers recently found what they call the champion strain for biofuel. The lead researcher highlights a central Thailand strain for containing the highest amounts of oil. Thailand is very, very suitable a place for alcohol growth, and we have a high alcohol biodiversity because it can grow all year round like that. Thailand's new algae businesses may still be in their early stages, but it's clear that the country has a chance to lead the world in forging a brighter future through some unusual harvests. Rosalind Dabovalia, NHK World, Bangkok.